In about 30 seconds, that horizon is going to turn black as the most dangerous killing machines in the universe rise up over it. And I can tell you ain't the type of lad that fancies being important or valuable, but you don't get to decide that. You and my pilot are the most important Marines we have, and right now, get your ass out of here. Go! Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Aliens Colonial Marines. This is level 9 slash episode 9, Hope and Hadley's, which seems like a really lazy title because chapter 4, or level 4, was just called No Hope and Hadley's. Now this is the second level that I've already played before this without cutscenes, but uh, I've already forgotten everything that happened, so it'll be an experience for us both. We're here with uh, O'Neill and Cruz, the commander. And thankfully, at least, I don't think there's any, uh, Marine, er, Marines, Weyland Yutani mercenaries in this level. Supposedly, we've got some more marines here, as well as a, uh, about a hundred xenomorphs. I'm gonna just throw a medkit on my head? Where did that come from? Move! Move! Everyone get into operation! Boy, we just got tackled to death. Move, move, everyone get into operation. Now, I did actually get an upgrade for the battle rifle that makes it do more damage, so it's actually Marines sort of worthwhile now. It's good taking Clear. care of those acid spitters. Winner on me! Nothing gets through! Need about 20 more seconds on this door. Keep up the fire! One of them appears to be stuck on the roof. But no surprise there. Alright, so things are looking pretty rough here in, uh, command. If you're holding a motion tracker, keep your face glued to it! Call out all positions! Head into ops and find anyone still alive inside. All right, so we got to rescue some Marines here. You can't even really tell here because it's so dark, but uh, this is supposed to be a gold-plated shotgun skin that I got for doing a shotgun challenge. Okay, there's one of them. Oh no, how am I supposed to rescue you now? You're just an arm. At least we can still high five. Do you need rescuing? I rescued you. Well, you appear to be rescued now, so I'm gonna go rescue someone else.
Oh, this is a lurker. That's why he didn't die from that. Luckily, his idea of being sneaky is running behind that wall and then running back. Marine, do you need rescuing? Just gonna keep shooting that wall. You should probably use that gun on your back. It's got 40 shots in it. How did you even lock yourself in there? Well, now you're rescued. Stop it, I'm trying to rescue him. Of course, when you rescue him, he's still just gonna stand there. There's one more over yonder. Don't worry, well, he doesn't really look like he can rescue him, he looks kind of already dead. Marine, are you alive? Oh, he blinked. Blink twice if you were alive. I won't give up on you. I got you. <laughs> oh man, that dead-eyed face. Y'all enjoy that? Thanks. Oh, well, he's feeling better now. Ow. God damn. <coughs> I guess we have to get back to cruise now. Didn't actually want to come in here. Can I rescue this marine? Or this? What are you doing? All right, guys, head to the vehicle bay. That's our new op center. And watch the damn roofs. <sighs> All right, our shotgun's almost out of ammo. I guess we'll switch to the other shotgun. Switch our battle rifle to the assault rifle. now a five shot burst instead of a three shot burst making it even harder to actually hit anything oh yeah this part this is one of the few things in the uh, super awesome colonial marines trailer that is actually not fictionalized this part does happen of course it's nothing at all like what it looks like in the trailer except that it's here. the same room ready for this shit. I don't know why they keep saying turrets plural. There's only a Check one. the window. Check the stairwell. Zeno's on the catwalk. Eyes to the sky, people. They are coming. Check the wall. They're breaking through the doors. Damn it! They're rushing my position. Eyes to the sky, people. They are coming in through the ceiling vents. Zeno's on the catwalks! You know, I think we're supposed to feel, like, overwhelmed here because there's just coming from everywhere, but seeing as everyone except for me in this room is invincible, I'm not too concerned. Made it through! Keep moving! Zeno's on the catwalks! There's even an infinite ammo box here. I mean, we can even just sort of stick around while they're uh, taking care of most of it. Oh, I guess they're coming out of this really obvious hole. In the
I guess that's all of them. Get reading the dropship. Is she still at Ops? She's not here. Sorry, sir. I sent Reed with Hicks in an APC out of the colony. So did what? Oh, it's empty. So I know that's supposed to be the atmospheric processor, but why is it still on fire 17 weeks later? Oh yeah, I remember this part too. This is another dumb, inexplicable enemy. What the hell is that? Oh. And this is the only other thing from that, you know, much better looking trailer that is in the final game. Uh, Only here it's just a retarded boss fight. It's your typical uh, step to the side and shoot it when it runs past you, boss. Again, no explanation for where this thing came from, what sort of host it would have had. There's just a giant xenomorph for the crushy head. Notice how it doesn't act like any other xenomorph. <laughs> that, act, that animation actually got me killed there. Oh no, it's still alive, barely. Alright, we're not gonna kill this thing with a freaking shotgun. Okay, it can charge through those. I thought we had gotten it stuck in the environment. But yeah, this thing is supposed to be a boss. This is their idea of a boss fight. Now it's dead. I'm doing so hot on health, though. materializing in front of me. Mildly disturbing. Kinda look like Borderlands loot chests. And now it's all come back to me. I remember having to do this part. So this is the worst. I got you, Raider. Basically, this dumb dropship has like four fuel lines for some reason, and we have to slowly unplug each of them while infinite xenomorphs spawn.
The biggest problem with this is that while you're invincible standing on the stairs doing the animation, as soon as you come out of it, you'll be pinned to it by a xenomorph standing right on the stairs. If you die, you have to do the whole thing. And as usual, it's the spitters here that are the worst part. They're the only enemy that can reliably hit you. Alright, if you can just unplug this without dying. Yep, there was one right behind me. Save me, stupid Marines. What the? Jump with that. And it's not even enough that we got the dropship in the air, now we have to kill everything. Oh shit, I'm empty, cover me! They've gotten stuck under the stairs. Oh shit, I'm empty, cover me! The Xenomorph had to cycle through his jump spots until he could find the one right beside us. Are you kidding me? What about all these fucking hostiles right here? Looks like you'll fit right in, you insubordinate son of a bitch. You didn't specify which direction to drive the APC, sir. So, how are you alive, if you don't mind too much my asking? Oh, now they're gonna explain what the retcon. What happened on Fury 161? Guess we're skipping the softball questions. We left LV-426 and sent out a distress call. A call you all responded to. Near Fury, the ship went into alert, and I was pulled out of cryo as the ranking and only Marine. The ship was on alert because Michael Whalen's PMCs illegally boarded the ship. The four cryopods ejected safely but I obviously wasn't in mine. So, whose body was in your cryotube? That's a longer story. I care about one thing, taking these guys down. Really? That's all I got left, guys. You don't even have a bullshit Let's explanation for why there was Floor someone in your cryopod? Sir. We're all colonial marines here. I wake up in the morning thanking baby Jesus for every day I'm in the core. So I'm gonna be good goddamned if I let Wayland yutani take that away from me. Now, we don't have an FTL ship to get all of us back off planet, but they do. Now, how long we got before the last boat comes in? Comes in tonight. They're packing up for good. We take this ship or we don't leave. It's the only chance we're gonna get. I have 63 active United States Colonial Marines, and we're gonna take that facility. And then we're gonna take that ship. And we're gonna get everything we can to take this company and Michael Whalen down for all the shit they've put us through and taken from us. Hoorah to ashes, O'Neill. Hoorah, Captain. For the Marines we lost, guys! You know, it doesn't seem too smart for the Whalen yutani Comp Corporation to basically declare war on the United States over some bioweapons. Well, that was another dumb explanation. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time in episode 10. 
Only two episodes left until we're done. Thankfully. See you guys.